my name is Kerstin Helwig. I'm a neurologist. Um, I'm working in the University Hospital in Bochum and also in a private practice. And I'm an MS specialist and scientifically interested in the topic family planning and multiple sclerosis. And for this year's ECTRAMS in Milan, I look forward to chair, together with Rhonda Foscool, the session on female health. It can be advisable to continue certain DMTs during uh, pregnancy and or uh, breastfeeding. And again, I would like to start with MS. Um, in mild to moderate MS, most women can uh, stop their DMTs during pregnancy. But um, what we also learned is um, that women who were treated until pregnancy was recognized, which is mainly early gestation week five or six, then they have fewer relapses before pregnancy and also uh, during pregnancy. But most of the DMTs can be stopped. In NMOSD, same thing. It's probably advisable to use drugs with a longer lasting effect like anti-CD20 antibodies or um, azathioprine or to continue some of the newer monoclonal antibodies. And then during breastfeeding, um, there are drugs which can be combined with breastfeeding and for both diseases the same, the higher the disease activity is um, and the, the, the more you sh we should counsel women to start treatment early and given that relapses are more disabling in NMOSD, I would generally not pause treatments, also not postpartum where the relapse risk is highest. Um, hopefully we will get an update on the safety of DMTs during pregnancy um, and also breastfeeding. And I think um, in, the couple of, in the last couple of years, there, um, what, what research does is fine-tuning of providing risk estimates to better counsel women, which basically means what um, happens if I stop DMT A, B, C? with the relapse and disability risk, and then what if I continue this DMT, if it's a safe DMT um, during pregnancy and also perhaps breastfeeding um, concerning my relapse risk, but also how the continuation affects the health of the child. Yeah, I hope that the audience will be will feel safer in counseling, counseling women planning a pregnancy with uh, MS or NMOSD because nobody that's uh, nobody wants to do a mistake because you potentially can harm two, and also women are afraid to do something wrong when they plan a pregnancy with a chronic disease. And I really hope that that uh, the audience will feel comfortable after the session to um, counsel women in these special situation. And on top, uh, it's, it's not an, only an update, there also will be uh, scientific presentations, also on menopause, also one on ufatumab and the content in the breast milk. So it gives a, a total, beyond the, the um, comfortness and counseling, also there is a, a broader scientific spectrum on women issues and MS or MOSD.